it's Lisa. I'm back with the fourth and last in the series where I'm using the same sketch uh, for four different layouts. For my fourth layout today, I have four photos instead of three photos. This is the sketch that we've been using, um, but I've got four photos and I really can't get around having four because I need them to tell the story. I have one of each of us bicycling, and then the story here is that the place that we used to, that, that we go on vacation, um, we would, there's lots and lots of golf cart, or lots and lots of regular bike paths, but they also used to allow you to bike on the golf cart paths after a certain time. You could bike after 7 p.m. Uh, or very early in the morning. And we would do that occasionally, especially if we were down there during the summertime and we had daylight. Uh, past 7, there was hardly ever anybody else out on the golf course. It was really, really nice. Well, we were biking around this year and we happened to see that the sign, they had painted over that part of it. And the way I took the pictures, if you look at this picture, you can't really see the painted over part, so it doesn't really, it just tells you what they want you to know. No walking, jogging, or bicycles allowed. What you really need to see is the painted over part to realize what's happened. So I need both, I need all four photos. Uh, to tell my story. So I'm going to have to do some serious cropping here to get these down to where they will fit on a page, and I think I can do that pretty well. Um, when I looked at the photos, I thought, what color am I going to use? Because I've got this Kelly green here, and I went looking. I have one partial piece of cardstock in green, um, but I, I did find some other options. Uh, oh, remember that little polka dotty paper that I trimmed off and saved from one of the other layouts? Well, here it is again. I might use it. I don't know. Um, I went back to the collectibles collection from my mind's eye that I did use on one of the other uh, layouts in this series because it has some true greens in it and I was looking at using maybe um, this for the top part of the layout and then my photos and then this for the bottom part of the layout so that's a possibility of how to do this. And I've also got this paper that has that same green in it Maybe. How about that? Actually, I think I like that better because it has the white that the signs have in it. So I may just do green top and bottom, but boy, this page is going to need some embellishment or some other color somewhere um, to, to work with all that green. For embellishment, I do have the little sunburst things that I got from uh, Two Peas recently because I think those look like spokes on a bicycle. And I didn't think I had a bicycle stamp until I finally remembered I have this one from... Um, Stampin' Up that has this cute little bunny and everything in there. It's a little bit cutesy, but I may still be able to use that as part of the embellishment. What I'm considering is bringing this band all the way up and doing, you know, like this darker green paper at the whole bottom of the layout with a different paper on top, and then maybe making a larger embellishment group down here with the bicycle and something small up here at the top because I'm, I'm going to have so many photos. So first step is going to be doing some cropping. So i got to get these photos cropped down so then we can figure out what, uh, what what else to put on the page. My crop down photos ended up a little bit narrower than I expected. Uh, surprisingly, the small ones are 3 inches by 4 inches, which happened to be the size on the original sketch. The ones in the middle, I didn't need them quite as wide, um, so I trimmed those down and left a little bit of border on each side. And I'm trying to decide whether I want to crop the top and the bottom of those. I I have trimmed them down some, but I could trim them down a little bit more, or I could lay some elements over the top and sort of join things together. Um, that one at the top is looking crooked, and I think it's just the way the photo's taken, but I'm going to check it. Now, I have the, the paper at the top, I've also trimmed that, and if I bring it down just a little bit, you'll see a little bit of that green and white border, or paper, or paper from the bottom as a border, uh, and I think I like that. I think I'm going to leave it that way, and you'll see that better as, as we go along. I've done the journaling and tucking that in up above my husband's uh, photo. So we'll be reading left to right with the um, uh, title down there at the bottom and the main embellishment down at the bottom. I'm just flipping the position of the uh, journaling and the embellishment. Now my cute little bicycle, I decided it was too cutesy. The little bunny and all that, that's not really where I'm going with this layout. So I chose a piece of clip art instead. So I just went to PowerPoint and picked out a piece of clip art, printed that out. And I'm adding to it some of these little um, sunbursts as spokes. And that was one of the other things is I really wanted something I could put those little spokes into the bicycle. So the clip art worked better. Now I'm coloring them. I experimented with one and I colored black and that was too dark. So I went to a gray marker and I'll show you um, what I did here. I'm just taking the gray marker and going over it 
And if you keep a paper towel handy, you can mop up some of the extra ink as you go, and especially if you're using a dark color, and then see the wood grain a little bit better that way. Okay. So I'm going to do that with all of those um, little starbursts. Now I need to get my title together here, and it's going to say, How Rude. <laughs> um, so, because we, we kind of thought it that way since we didn't get to bike where we wanted to bike anymore. I've got some old basic gray letters that came from a boy collection a couple of years ago, and I still have those. And then Rude out of red, so really stand out there. And they're actually going to end up being more, I guess, towards the middle of the page than the, than the lower right corner. But I do have some emphasis planned for around the the lower right corner because I'd like to add some arrows to really point out that photo because it doesn't really jump out at me the way I want it to. Um, and I'll get to those in just a second. I'm, I'm going to add some washi tape up here to finish off the edge between the different paper layers rather than using a border sticker because there's very little there that I need to cover. So a little couple of pieces of washi tape will take care of that. Now for these arrows, I want them really rounded, so I'm going to use my Creative Memories uh, cutters to do that. And I want something that when I cut it, I have the color all the way through, so I chose some cardstock. And to make it a little more interesting, rather than just plain old cardstock, I'm using a stencil. I accidentally moved my stencil and realized that I really should have had it taped down, especially since I had some washi tape real there handy. And I'm just using the same color ink over the paper. This is Pacific Point paper from Stampin' Up! and their ink as well. And I'm going to cut out part of a circle using this, making it the small part and then going around the large part. You could do it either way in this instance. I think it's probably better to cut out the big circle first. But either way, I've cut that out, and then that will work as part of my arrow, and then I'll put a little arrow head on the end of it in just a moment. And I've got some more there in the middle. I can cut my smaller arrow for the uh, top up above the journaling. Okay. We'll take that and trim that out, and I may need something else up there in the upper right-hand corner as well. So I've still got a little bit of design left here, and I can use this for my um, arrowhead. And what I did was just take a square and cut it in half, and that was a little bit too big for that one piece. So I'm going to take it out of another section of the blue paper, just trim it out. And what happens here is I trim this out, and it's a little bit big, so I end up trimming it down some and, and making a little bit smaller arrowhead, and then matting it with some gray mat to give it a little bit more emphasis. All right, the last thing I really need here is some washi tape or something to kind of ground the embellishment areas and add a little bit of color. And I decided to just do some washi. It's a quick way of doing it and get more solid colors rather than so many mixed up sort of prints that were in the collection. So I've got some blues and some reds there. I have a red swirly print down there at the bottom, and then I'll leave my red polka dot print for the top. Just putting some in each of my embellishment areas. That's bugging me a little bit, but we'll come back to that one. Then up here at the top, I can use my red polka dot and keep the colors. I don't mind using different products as long as I'm uh, bringing the colors into each area of the layout. That one bugged me a little bit too, so I decided to change the blue out for a little bit lighter blue. It wouldn't quite match the arrow so much. And that works better. And then my little star on that side. The one on the left is bugging me, and I don't know quite whether I'm going to change the washi tape out. I've got to decide what to do with it. I do have a date sticker, and I move it all over the place, and it ends up being down there in the lower left-hand corner, which you'll see here in just a second on the finished page. Okay, I have a completed page. I added just a few enamel dots. I got picked these up at Michael's. They were part of their Valentine stuff. They were clearancing out.
And over here I really didn't do anything different. I just moved this up a bit. You can see the how the arrows sort of fit in. Just a little cardstock dressed up. Made a nice embellishment. Uh, used some clip art for that and then added these little wood items to them. So what I did differently with the sketch is instead of doing it at the band at the bottom, I pulled this paper all the way up to underneath the photo, used four photos instead of three photos. I intended to have these two on the same level, but I realized after I got it going that I didn't have them quite straight across, but that's okay because then this is taking up some space up here at the top. So the journaling is at the top and the title is at the bottom, so I just flipped those. And then the embellishment placement is um, pretty much the same. Just added these arrows uh, for some emphasis. So now let's take a look at all four pages that were part of this same sketch. Okay, let's start down here with the Home Remedies page that followed the sketch really closely. And then we went up where we just flipped the position of the title and the journaling and used larger photos, kind of angled them, different kinds of embellishments. Then flipped the, the sketch completely on its side so we could use 4 by 6 photos and a ribbon instead of that band. We have the title and several things around on that one. And then this last one where kind of eliminated the band and just used a small amount of embellishment at the bottom but divided the page into two papers and used four photos. So we got a lot of mileage out of one sketch. I've had a lot of great feedback on this series, so I'm sure I'll be doing this again with another sketch later on in the year. And I hope you'll continue to watch. I'm going to continue to have some process videos going on um, all year long, I hope. So um, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all your comments and your likes and your um, feedback. It's been great.